Has God left us? Did he just give up? Does he hate us? I wouldn't be shocked if you've had these questions on your mind this year. It's been wild, scary and unpredictable at times. So is God in control? And if there is a God, why are these bad things happening? The answer is a little bit comforting, but also it is a harsh reality. It comes down to one thing, choice. God's choice and our choice. You see, God chose to create us. We weren't just physical and we weren't just spiritual. And then out of kindness and hope and love, and yeah, it was a bit risky too, he gave us the gift of choice, of our own choice. So we wouldn't just be robots or slaves with no meaning or purpose, we would always have a choice. God also chose to create earth, somewhere that was living and moving and growing, and he kind of left it in our hands to develop it and nurture it. Genesis 1 says, go and subdue the earth, be fruitful. That means to, you know, do good things and to look after this place. He didn't turn his back on us, but he did give us gifts. Do you look after the gifts that you've been given? The gift of grass, but it might need mowing. The gift of trees, but they might need planting. A gift of sharks and bacteria and volcanoes. And we can choose now, are we going to swim with those sharks or not? Are we going to build on places that might be earthquake hotspots or not? Are we going to learn about bacteria and maybe learn what we should be eating and shouldn't be eating and taking care of ourselves? Likewise, we can choose to protect sharks and oceans if we want. We can choose to listen to those that are experts in disease prevention. We can choose to develop houses that if they're shaken, they won't crumble. And we can even choose to help others do these same things. We can choose to love others or not. We can choose to fight others, be kind to others, share with others. That leads me on to one final big choice that God has given us. The one God who loves us so much gave us this option. Would we choose to love him back or not? If you need time to think about it, that's fine, but maybe this will help. The world he left us to look after or ruin, to spread disease and hate or love and kindness, apparently he's building a new one, a new earth, and it's not going to have any of that suffering or disease or even death. And all of those that chose him, that said yes to him, are going to get to experience that. I'll see you there.